What is going on, Internet? Eric Vandals back again with another amazing episode from Beer Brand Alliance. Hope all is going well on the other side of the internet. Let's talk about balance. Alrighty, I think there is a lot of celebration in the world for the people who have accomplished the most grandiose things. Elon Musk, Michael Jordan, Tiger Woods. A lot of these people have done things that have never been done before. That's why they, they kind of talk about them. And I think what happens with many of these people is this really intense focus on a period of their life on a certain thing. Like Michael Jordan would train and practice. You know, Kobe Bryant, same way, would just practice, work harder than anyone you could ever imagine. And they became champions. They became the best ever. Elon Musk runs, God, how many companies? Four or five companies. He uh, travels the world all the time, doing incredible, great things for humanity. But in my opinion, I think what happens is they're so focused on one thing, they don't have balance. I mean, how else do I say it? They don't, they don't have balance. I want to say it. Elon's got a couple of uh, past wives or girlfriends or whatever. He's got kids with multiple parents. He's clearly not able to maintain a relationship in a traditional sense. And, you know, a lot of us have gone through those as well. So I'm not, I'm not uh, judging him or saying that he's wrong or bad for going through these things. That's what I want to be clear about. What I want to talk about is for the majority of men, the majority of the audience, majority of people who I'm talking to, I really think balance should be a higher priority in your life rather than uh, solely focused on, on one interest. And really, I say that because from a statistical standpoint, uh, chances are um, none of us are, are going to be multi-billionaires. Now, the way I look at balance, I think of a uh, four burner stove. Right? And let's imagine you got one gas uh, line going up to the four burners and you only have so much gas going through. Well, if you keep all the burners off except for one and have all that gas go to that one, that one flame can be super bright. But if you run that gas and you split it up four ways, each burner can only get so hot. And I think that's the way to go. I think the way to go is to have four burners run in. They're not going to get as hot and that's going to be okay with it. And I want to share with you guys kind of the tips that I have developed over the years to find my balance in life. I feel like I've got a pretty good grip on, you know, setting boundaries and having balance. I've been married for 16 years. I've got two kids. Uh, I've got a business uh, that's 10 years old and I've maintained my business partner relationships. I'm pretty fit. I'm about uh, 200 pounds and six foot five. Uh, I can... I don't know, squat 350, no, excuse me, 300 pounds and deadlift 350 pounds. I can, uh, or I, most recently I did a 2K under seven minutes, so I'm fit. I've been able to find ways to uh, take care of my mind, take care of my body, take care of my relationships, and take care of my financial situation. Probably the fifth one is the spirituality and making sure that you have that purpose in life and that connection. Uh, for, for many people, a connection with a higher being uh, or connection with the religion. Uh, spirituality is really, in my opinion, uh, reflected in a lot of different ways for a lot of different people. Now, the reality is uh, we, all, we all have 24 hours in the day. If I spent 24 hours just working on business, in theory, my business would be absolutely crazy, uh, but my health would deteriorate, uh, my mind would de deteriorate, everything would deteriorate. So my tips are about how do we become more efficient with the time that we have? Uh, we got to take eight hours, maybe nine hours out of the day to, to go to sleep and getting ready for bed and, and waking up and, and all those kind of daily routines, you know, using the restroom, all that. It's another couple of hours uh, or preparing food, the commute, kind of like the, the waste of, of time things. There are things you can do to add more time. So live close to the place that you work. For a lot of people now, they <laughs> that's just right down the 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 hallway in their house they they work from home so that's a great way to add time back to your life but even if you have a commute how do you integrate your commute and kind of double those efforts where maybe your commute time is uh, a hobby time like in you're into learning about uh self-improvement or you're into uh you know listening to pop culture or something like that you can utilize your commute time as a way to invest in your 
kind of like your your own personal mental health and, and well-being. As an older dude with a family, I found that friendships is probably one of the hardest things of being a, an older guy, especially if you've moved around at all. So what I've done is I've tried to pair together my fitness with my friendships. So uh, I've been weightlifting a lot lately and I have a weightlifting buddy, shout out to Mike, uh, where I'm able to kind of connect with him on a, a peer level. Uh, and before that it was rowing. So it was a team sport and being able to build the friendships with uh, my fellow rowing team members. The more you can kind of like double up your activities uh, whether it be, you know, like your fitness and your friendships or maybe your fitness and kind of like your, your mental spirituality. You know, maybe you uh, uh, go on a walk and uh, that's kind of like the time that you brainstorm for your business. There's a lot of different ways of, of doing it. Now, when I talk about being uh, able to do two things at once, I also think it's important to find the things that you can be present in. So, for instance, uh, if one of the important things is you know, maintaining and building a relationship with your partner, your spouse, it's probably not a good idea to kind of do that uh, and work at the same time. Like you can't work on your business and work on your relationship at the same time, except for in the few situations where maybe your your spouse is your business partner. And then in that case, of course, you spend that time together working on your business and having fun in your relationship. Previous to working at Beard Brand, I used to be a financial advisor. I also love finance. In fact, uh, that's kind of my next tip for you guys is if you can integrate a hobby, uh, especially if you can integrate a hobby tied around finance, then you're able to invest into your financial uh, situation, your your well-being of your finances, and also have interest in it. Uh, I always got into like reading the uh, ways to invest or to build houses, uh, to generate passive income, things like that. If you can't do that or if it's not an interest to you, then uh, I always recommend trying to find a hobby that is inexpensive. So one of my hobbies is coffee, getting into coffee. You know, like, of course, I'm paying more for coffee than a typical person. But in the grand scheme of things, paying like $100 a month for coffee and the coffee equipment and whatnot is nothing compared to someone who's into yachts or boats or airplanes or cars or whatever more expensive hobbies are out there. The word balance and the word boundaries, I think, kind of go hand in hand. Because to have balance, you have to have boundaries. You have to say, all right, you know, I've, I've committed to my work for the hours. I need to go home. I need to spend time in my family. That's an important part of one of my burners. You know, I, I can't exercise uh, six hours a day because I need to do these other things in my life. You have to be able to, to cut things off knowing that you're never going to be able to hit um, that, that, that extreme level. And that's okay. Like, it's okay because you have so much more in your life. So remember, set those boundaries, find that balance, prioritize in your life for the things that are important to you, the things that you need to have uh, based on your own parameters. Now the downside with balance is no one's likely ever gonna write a book of you. you no one's ever gonna celebrate how, you know, how well you maintain your relationships with your friends and family you know, how you're able to persevere through adversity because you're mentally prepared for it, how you live for a long age because you ate right, you exercise right, how you are able to have purpose and meaningfulness uh, in your life. No one's going to really write about that. Like balance is not sexy. Balance is not glamorous. Balance is not going to, to, to get you notoriety. And I think like part of the focusing on balance is understanding that, is understanding that I'm not going to build the largest company. I'm not going to have the most intimate relationships ever. I'm not going to, you know, uh, have really, really freakishly close relationship with my children. Like I give up a bit, you know, like you're giving up a bit. Like those burners are never going to be as bright as they could if all I did was spend 100% of the time with my children. Like, yes, that's okay, but you're able to... I don't know, just become such a more well-rounded person that you make a stronger impact, not just on like the people around you, the relationships you build, the, the projects you work on, but also yourself. I, I, I think it's just a better way of living. It's a more fulfilling way and it's a more sustainable way of life is really what it is. If you have balance in your life, you have sustainability, you're not going to burn out, you're not going to have those midlife crises, you're not going to, you know, lose relationships with people who mean a lot to you, um, 
It's just the way to go, man. Way to go. I hope you guys are doing well on the other side of the internet. Uh, send my love to you guys, and hopefully the love will come back. If it doesn't, no worries. I, uh, I'll go get it from somewhere else. <laughs> As always, thanks for watching. Cheers. And keep on growing. Whoever knew sweat could smell so good? I did, because I've been using Beard Brand's new deodorant. Grab it at beardbrand.com.